I'm Edie Lush. I'm here inside the studio in Davos 2023, here with Hub Culture, delighted to be in partnership with Handshake. And I'm very pleased to have Kami Krista step into the studio. Welcome. Thank you very much. CEO and co-founder of Elio. Tell me what you do. Tell me about Elio. Well, at Elio, we really asked ourselves the, problem, uh, the question of whether businesses at this very moment in time are really equipped to deal with the current challenges of decarbonizing their manufacturing processes. And the reality is I'm no. imagining the answer is no. The answer is no. There's a lot of time spent on measurement, on reporting, but when you ask a business, how do you actually go about achieving your goals, mm -hmm. particularly very complex ones like the pharmaceuticals industry? They say, we're very overwhelmed. We don't really know how to attack this problem. We don't even know where all the solutions are. Hmm. And that's why Elio exists, where we're building a software platform that is a partner to the scientist or product owner within a company and helps them develop decarbonization strategies for R&D and manufacturing processes in a very tailored but easily scalable fashion. Interesting. So how did you get the idea? Well, the reality is I started in the climate space actually more than 15 years ago, which is a pretty bold claim to make probably mm -hmm. given my age. But the reality is that I had a very unique connection with the natural world around me from a very young age. Um, I started actually in the climate space by writing a letter to the president of Brazil, mm -hmm. now also president Is that where Lula. you're from? No, I'm actually from Austria. But okay. um, I understood this need to highlight that living things that look different from us are just equally valuable in our ecosystem. And that journey led me to holding a TEDx talk on sustainable transportation when I was about 12 years old. Mm -hmm. um, but I wasn't particularly satisfied with what I, you know, where the progress was going. And so I actually moved into a very different direction. I ended up studying bioengineering at Harvard. I did research on a novel kind of HIV therapy. And while I was doing that, I realized, wow, these are really complex processes that mm -hmm. I'm already performing. How can a business that has you know, hundreds of these processes running within their labs actually go about that? Interesting. And that's how Elio came about. All right, what can people watching this video do differently, given your expertise? What, how should they think differently about climate space? I think climate is really a, a systemic issue. And so this idea that an individual's actions can, can change the world has to do with how you activate the system that you are a part of. And so what you as an individual can really do is you can think about what are the systems that I'm a part of, the communities, the organizations, the groups, and how can I ensure that there is a change in the way that we approach how we act within this ecosystem, rather than putting the focus mm -hmm. on purely what am I eating today and why am I flying to this particular conference that we're <laughs> here at today, right? And, and really focusing on how can we as a collective change the way that we are operating um, in this world. Thank you so much, Cami, for stopping by the studio here in Davos. I'm Edie Lush.